Okay, let's see these group of four in this unit. Looks like the group is three midway cabs. Perfect for people to learn on. These are a good cabinet to get started. If you're in the restoration business, these are some of the easiest ones to do, midway cabs. Parts are available. They're easy to work on, easy to access everything from the front. I see that one's locked, so I can't, I can't get into it. This one is open. get in. Dang it. Let me try again in a second. So three midway cap and this one project water damage game. I wish it weren't so. Cool looking game. Does have a monitor. You see any boards in there? Yeah there's some other boards in there but look at the cab. It's so sad. This one must have been left outside or something. It's called Up and Down by Sega. If you need a marquee, that's a good marquee. That's a good control panel. Like I said, I can see the boards in there and it does have a monitor. So this would make a good transplant if you want to move this into another cab. That'd be great. Uh, as for these midway cabs, oh cool, Galaga's open. Let's see what's in here. I do see monitor, I see power. I don't see a motherboard. You can buy these on line uh, pretty easily pretty readily available I would say of, of all arcade games the midway ones are somewhat easiest to find uh, in working condition and all that this one's got power assembly no board I do see monitor same thing on this one I'd recommend you find another board for it this one it's locked I can't get in I wish I could but it's some kind of Galaga some kind who knows, there could be a motherboard in it, could be not. I suspect that's a Pac-Man cab or a Galaxian. You can see the difference between Ms. Pac and Pac-Man on the side. Curvature. These three games are in one lot, plus this parts game, this Sega up and down game. Too bad, I wish this cab wasn't ruined. All right, that's it for this group. Four games, I consider it. Two as shells, one as question mark, and one as parts only. Good luck bidding.